Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Nova action figure from the Build-A-Figure group Guardians of the Galaxy line. You know, upon first looks, I really dig this figure. The helmet is sculpted well, it's really clean paint on the helmet, and I really dig the use of the blue and the white paint for the eyes. I think he's got a strong mouth and chin. The sculpting on this, uh, the head and the suit in general looks really, really good. Also, it's really, really clean paint. There's no real paint complaints that I have on this. I mean, yeah, there's that little smear right there, but that doesn't really uh, bother me too much. I just, I'm glad that these are all, you know, painted clean and within the lines. But I really like the use of the blue plastic on this. This is a really good looking blue. It's actually just a really good looking figure, but I really like the blue tones they use for that. I like the sculpting on his stomach. Um, the paint going down the sides is good, but I really like the, uh, the soft plastic they used on his uh, knee area here. And even on the back, these little uh, sections here, you can see right there that these kind of scoop outward a little bit. It's a fun little detail if he you know, hinges all the way back that it supports that. It's a, it's a good touch. Overall, this paint, this sculpt, it's a good looking figure with some really great colors. Here's something worth noting. The sculpting of his thigh is broken up by a mid-thigh cut. If you want that to line up properly, same thing with that line going inside of his leg, you put it in that you know, position that it's lined up in, but it's not symmetrical. If you see, if you use the side of him going straight down, his right leg comes more forward, his left leg comes more back, which is kind of cool. It's in a posed in a, like an asymmetrical position, like one foot forward. It actually looks kind of cool, but if you care about having your legs totally even, you do need to swing that thigh cut in a little more. However, that forces his, uh, his knee and inner leg to kind of swing inward a bit, which can look slightly awkward, but, uh, you know, that's how it'll look on the side there. It's interesting that it was sculpted that way, but it's not really that big of a deal. But there is kind of a weird curve to his leg, and I think it's because this is kind of a slightly softer plastic. Speaking of soft plastic, the hinge on his, his, uh, his little hip ball joints are really loose. It's kind of becoming slightly problematic for me. Now let's take a look at the rest of the articulation. Now the head's got a ball joint inside the helmet and the hinge at the base of the neck, but the ball joint doesn't really have that much of a range of motion. But the neck does, so that's pretty cool. You can get him to look all the way down and stuff like that. Best thing about this is the hinge shoulder pieces. I think that's awesome because it gives you a good range of motion when it comes to like bringing your arms up. Um, you've got the ball joint at the shoulders. Well, it's a hinged ball joint. Swivel at the, uh, the bicep. Double elbow joint. Swiveling and hinged wrists. I like the double wrist where it can hinge and swivel. I also really like that this is like a soft material so that, that wrist can come all the way up to it and look really tight. There's no like weird gap there. Uh, same thing on this one. Bring the wrist all the way up and it looks pretty slick. Uh, mid mid uh, torso cut, it's got a pretty good range of motion compared to some of the others in this series. Um, you got the, the, the waist there and the hips, which man, these are kind of loosey-goosey, but the, the mid thigh cut works out pretty good. You got the double knee joint, which I dig. And as always, I dig the swiveling and hinged feet. However, the uh, the feet at the hinge, there is kind of a like a little loose spot in both of them that causes the figure to have some trouble standing. Uh, between this and the uh, the ankles, standing is a problem for me. Loose leg joints aside, I really dig this figure. It's got a good sculpt, it's got really good paint, and an awesome use of colors. I think any Nova fan would be pretty stoked to have this in their collection. Now, it doesn't come with any Nova-related accessories, but it does come with this, Groot's right arm, as part of the Build-A-Figure series. So be on the lookout for my Groot action figure review. Thanks for watching.